Welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be trying to make a geode coaster using Epsom salt. Now I'm not sure if you saw my previous experiment where I used Epsom salt and I said in that I think this would make great geode coasters. Now this is a geode coaster mould that I made quite a while back and if you want to know how I make this it's very very easy and I'll link the video at the end of this video for you to check out because it's really easy to do. If not there are quite a few that are on the market that you can buy I'll link some of those in the description below. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. I release videos three times a week on a Tuesday, Thursday and a Sunday. So don't miss out on those. I've mixed the resin up and got that ready. And I've also, what I did was I put my salt through a sieve because I wanted to try and get rid of some of the smaller bits. And I wanted just some of the larger crystals left, as you can see, because I think that will be the ones that will look good. Now, I'm not going to put any colour whatsoever into the actual crystals themselves. So I'm just going to put a bit of resin in there. And make sure that these are all nicely covered. And the reason I sifted it out was because I wanted to get some of the powder out. Because I noticed that the powder did really change the, the actual colour in the previous experiment I did. And what it did was it created... A really quite a nice white actually I liked it a great deal but I want this to be more looking like crystals what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those around the edge of the actual mold here so pushing it in nicely any I've got left over I'll just pop into another mold somewhere of different type of mold I don't want it to be a neat complete neat circle because a geode wouldn't have a completely neat circle. I'm going to kind of mix it up a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill these around the edge with a little bit of transparent blue. Yeah, that'll do. And then what I'm also going to do is I've got a little pot here and I'm going to just drizzle... Sounds like a cake. I'm just going to drizzle some gold mica powder through it as well to give it a bit of a shimmer. Now, I put quite a lot in this because I want it to be a bit heavier than I would normally have it. No glitter in this one, ladies and gentlemen. But still, hopefully, quite a lot of sparkle. I'm going to leave that about five minutes before I pour it in because I want it to thicken up slightly and I also want it to degas where I've left made those bubbles by stirring it in. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour this around here and I'm anticipating that I'm going to get a little bit of bleeding into the actual salt as well. And in fact, I hope I do. And then I'm just going to push that down now. I've got it got the resin around it because I want it to be all of one level. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of this gold and I'm just going to pull it through here. Maybe that blue should have been a little bit darker. We'll see when we finish. And that's going to not just sit there that will also move around and blend in a little bit that'll probably be enough gold in there i'm going to add some darker blue to that just a tiny bit and i'm going to put that in using a pipette pop a bit more gold over the top of that and now with this clear I'm going to pour that over here so it's all at one level 
and we'll leave that to cure. What I'll do is I'll knock the bubbles off with my long neck lighter as soon as they start to come up because I don't want any bubbles in it if I can help it. This is cured now and as you can see it's come out quite nice on here so let's just get it out of the mould and there we go. Unfortunately what happened was I did put this in a little bit early and as a result the, the gold dropped to the bottom but you can see how well it's turned out here. That's the original one and what I've done is I've popped some silver leaf around them and I think it just finishes on them off really nicely. And that's the second one I made. I popped some glitter in there. I'm not sure if the glitter is coming out. I never seem to be able to film glitter very well. And again, I popped the silver leaf around it. What I did different was I didn't put as much as the salt around the second one. And I also used a more solid of a colour. And I actually think they've come out really, really well. I think it's a great use of the salt. I think it gives a really finished, nice finished touch. And certainly the silver leaf completes it really, really well. Hope you've liked these. Don't forget, check out the video at the end of this video. And I will see you in that video soon. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Take care. Enjoy your day. Bye.